guys, it's Josh and we're back again with another video. Today is part seven in my series where I help you get into your dream school. The topic of the day is something that's been highly requested, teacher recommendation letters. Which teacher should you ask? How should you ask them? And a couple other tips. Let's get into it. Almost all colleges nowadays require recommendation letters as part of their application. Most require two to three from a teacher and then one from your counselor. The hard part is deciding which teachers to ask. First of all, I would recommend choosing a teacher that you have a good relationship with. Someone that knows you well and can say a lot of good things about you in their letter. Do not choose a teacher who's constantly reminding you to turn in your homework or yelling at you because you're sleeping in the back of the class. That's a big no. I would recommend a teacher from your junior year. This is likely the year when you're taking the hardest classes and the class sizes are also going to be really small. So when you come back early in your senior year, your teacher is going to remember you very well. Not that you can't choose a teacher from sophomore year, but you need to make sure they actually remember who you are. Another important tip is providing variety in your recommendations. Do not choose your biology and your chemistry teacher, okay? You need to spread them out between subject areas. At least for me personally, I chose my physics teacher and my English teacher. Both of them were from junior year. Colleges want perspectives from all your subject areas. And then obviously, if you're trying to do a major like engineering, make sure you choose a math or a physics teacher. The same goes with other perspective majors. Don't choose your psychology and anatomy teachers if you wanna be a music composition major. Okay, now you actually have to approach your teachers and ask them for the letter. Some teachers have specific forms that they want you to fill out to get a better idea of how you are outside of school, or some teachers may just ask for a resume. Personally, I was prepared with a copy of my resume before I asked each of my teachers, and I suggest you guys do the same. Then on the other hand, some teachers may not even want any of that stuff. They wanna write a recommendation specifically on how you were in class, and that's fine too. What they ask for ultimately depends on the teacher. A couple final tips. Ask for the recommendation letter as early in the year as possible. For me, that was the first couple weeks of September. Keep in mind, your teacher isn't only writing a recommendation letter for you, but probably close to 50 other students. Some teachers even have limits on how many recommendation letters they'll write in a year, so make sure you get there early to ensure that you have a spot. Also, as a final piece of advice, when it comes to the end of the year, you've been accepted to college and you're waiting on graduation, don't forget about the teachers that wrote your letters. Make sure you go back, have a personal conversation with them, thank them, maybe even write them a thank you note or get them a small gift. They took their personal time to write you a letter that helped you get into college and you need to thank them for that. All right, that's all I got pertaining to teacher recommendation letters. If you have any other questions or concerns or wanna tell me what you thought of the video, comment down below. If you enjoyed this and wanna support more content from me in the future, drop a like and hit that big red subscribe button. As always, I'll be back again tomorrow at 3 p.m. with another video. See you soon.